Thanks everyone. My topic today is Global Village Paradigm Shift. The integrated or concept of Global Village is to curriculum is developed is crucial for fostering global awareness, cultural confidence and interconnectedness among learners. The main concept of Global Village is to make the interconnected learners. Uh, it emphasizes the idea that was uh, the world is becoming increasingly interconnected and with individuals and social linked together through network economics and shared challenges and opportunities as we all know global village is about a transformation that happened compared to in the old self but nowadays uh, the internet plays a vital role in this uh, so in the learning system and all the other systems also so we can uh, through this global village paradigm should we can able to know what are the things that happen and what is the importance towards it and what are the characteristics that happen in this the characteristics is interconnectedness uh, as i said before the inter interconnection between the learners from one place to another for example if i am a pa if a person from france can able to uh, connected with a person from usa something like that and then the cultural diversity it recognizes celebrates the diversity of culture language the persons from different states and different countries can able to understand the other diverse the other people's culture and they can uh, understand the difference between them like the diversity between them so they can be able to accept others from a different background information sharing means sharing of files and some in materials etc so they can able to share their things with others for example if a person from usa can able to share his things from uh, to the person in uk so something like that uh, like video calls phone calls etc so information can be shared through uh, various networks and global citizenship a person promote a sense of responsibility and belonging to a large global community and encourage individuals to encourage issue beyond their immediate surroundings so as i said is uh, make the uh, people to globally citizen citizen citizening themselves and uh, collaborative problem solving encourage collaborative efforts to address global challenges such as climate change poverty and inequality recognizing the solution often requires international cooperations as with the problem solving is encouraging the effort to address global challenges and uh, digital literacy is uh, highlights the importance of digital literacy skills navigating the globalization digital landscape including critical thinking and uh, media uh, literacy to is to make the people be knowledge in the liter in the digital format or in the digital platform as i said before the digital is plays a vital role the root of the digital garden is uh, rejuvenate us to flourish in the digital platform so the importance that comes under this is cultural understanding to make the people to understand the culture of each individual so that they can able to learn or they they been able to uh, mingle with others global awareness to make the people be aware of the society and may may, may be may, may need to understand others and critical thinking has this thing critically by learning so many things for example by sharing the things from some sharing them some, uh, some some things to uk some a person from uk or their culture this person able to understand them and they can think critically so collaborative skills make them to collaborate with other peoples and innovative and creativity it helps to improve their innovation and creativity as i said before paradigm shift is about learning industries in that the learners uh, the industrial ages to the learning age that can, that means a shift a major shift that happened in educational unit that can totally transform to others for example at the in the previous we uh, all learned um, teacher centric learning but now the curriculum is based on student centric so something like that the paradigm shift is about shifting from the older age to now and the shift in curriculum is integrated to of technology the shift that happened in the curriculum is the they included the technology into it like for example ict and digital literatures and computers etc so the uh, integration of technology happens in this curriculum and emphasis is on critical thinking and problem solving not only book knowledge not only mucking happens in it so now the curriculum developed and shifted to include the, the critical thinking and problem solving and personalized learning the it helps to the person to personalize learning for example using digital platforms or program learning etc the person can learn personalized personalized and global citizenship education a person can learn from anywhere and any time for example if a person from india can learn a degree or a diploma from uh, uk or usa in from uh, without moving there using the internet something like that so global citizenship education they have the rights to educated with that so sustainability and environmental education they can able to understand uh, they can able to get environmental education and inclusion of diversity so that there are so many difference as we know the unity in diversity is our main form so inclusion of diversity the peoples can understand the difference from others and are they able to uh, apply or are they able to understand it in through in their own way 
these are the past and present receiving knowledge and the past the teachers speak and the students listening to so they learn and now it's constructing knowledge they will be able to do their own so memorizing at the uh, first the they only mark up or reading or uh, just taking something in and writing it in the paper that's all there is no understanding or anything but now in the present age the curriculum focused on understanding and teaching at the previous as i saw that is teacher centric but now it's a learner centric and knowing the, there is no practical in the past but now there was any every practical doing doing from hands on activities or uh, more in this time these are the impacts that comes under this thank you